knowing Pharmacal Kinetics gives you more options in your drug bank for patient-centered care. Hello there, pharmas and friends. Mark with PharmWise. Haloperidol and Droperidol are commonly used in the ED for acute agitation and nausea and vomiting. Both of these agents are potent anti-dopaminergics, but Droperidol also acts as a minor adrenergic blocker. Are you sure you're maximizing the drug you're giving to the patient? Let's talk pharmacal kinetics. Haloperidol, the onset could be up to 20 minutes if given IM and rapid if given IV. The duration can be up to 12 hours. With Droperidol, the onset is rapid if given IM or IV and the duration is up to four hours. If I needed a prolonged sedative effect and I had IV access, I'm gonna reach for a haloperidol. If I didn't have IV access and I had to give something IM for acute control of agitation, I'm gonna reach for droperidol. Droperidol's incidence of QT prolongation is similar to other commonly used anti-dopaminergics. When droperidol is compared to haloperidol, it does provide a more rapid control of acute agitation, but with a risk of hypotension and supplemental oxygen. For more farm facts in the drug bank, visit my website, links in the bio.